नमस्कार डियर कोलिग्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 बाय नाउ यू मस्ट हैव रेड बोथ द टेक्स्ट एंड यू मस्ट हैव लिसन टू द वीडियोस ऑन नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी प्रेजेंटेड बाय एक्सपर्ट्स let me just tell you the broad overview of the national education policy 2020 which has come to us after a gap of 34 years it is the national education policy of india in the 21st century the policy aims at increasing our gross enrollment ratio by access equity inclusion it talks about innovativeness and flexibility in our entire teaching learning process the policy talks about quality and affordability of education be it school education or higher education it talks about indianness and internationalization of education indian values indian culture indian language indian literature indian ethos is to be all pervasive in our entire educational ecosystem and it also talks about making india a vishwa guru in the international sphere the policy gives a lot of emphasis on research and talks about a national research foundation the policy talks about use of technology in the teaching learning process in planning in governance in assessment and evaluation it talks about indian knowledge system indian language system and medium of instruction in local and indian languages and more importantly it talks about an optimal learning environment or quality learning system by optimal learning environment the policy puts emphasis on curriculum and it says that curriculum should be holistic multidisciplinary skill based and value based it talks about pedagogy another pillar of the quality learning environment the pedagogy can be traditional face to face can be open and distance learning can be online and policy emphasizes on blended learning looking at the digital divide in the country and access to technology by the large sections of our society the policy also talks about in the sphere of better learning environment about student support particularly disadvantaged groups how to give them access to quality education through special incentives scholarships bridge courses so on and so forth and most importantly it talks about innovative methods in assessment and evaluation so today my emphasis will be on this innovative methods of assessment and evaluation of the learners now what is that innovative method of assessment and evaluation which was lacking in our educational system be it school education or higher education the national education policy says that the traditional method of assessment evaluation examination was unnecessarily putting pressure on the learners it was more teacher centric it was more giving emphasis on high stake examination that is final examination end term examination annual examination and it was not 
making assessment of the holistic and all round development of the learners it developed a culture of memorizing the traditional method of evaluation and assessment was putting more emphasis on coaching culture so all these things needs to be done away with and a new system of evaluation with more emphasis on continuous and comprehensive evaluation of the students or learners has been emphasized in the national education policy 2020 that is formative assessment or continuous comprehensive assessment a regular class based test not to understand the level of understanding of the student but to facilitate better understanding of the issues or the knowledge or the skills that are supposed to be given to the students so formative assessment continuous comprehensive assessment and regular classroom assessment are given much emphasis than the high stake summative assessment or torment examination or end semester examination which is the normal pattern as of now so when we talk about formative assessment or continuous and comprehensive assessment which will lead to better understanding or improvement in the quality learning of the learners we mean that the learning outcome is more important in the entire evaluation process the graduate attributes are to be assessed through our assessment process therefore the assessment will become more scientific more objective measurable and innovative be it your tutor marked assignments your computer marked assignments your project work individual portfolios of the students field studies seminars workshops and there are many more methods through which continuous and comprehensive assessment to improve the quality of learning by the students can be done the entire teaching community had a mindset of assessing the student through high stake torment examination the the national education policy emphasizes on formative assessment rather than summative assessment and when we say about learning outcome to assess the learning outcome and to make it more scientific and measurable we mean that knowledge domain skill domain domain of attitude and domain of values these four domains are basically needs to be assessed knowledge in the subject to be assessed the skill which will be defined through activities through experiments that is experimental learning and activity based learning needs to be assessed the skills which are required in the 21st century particularly the 21st century skills like decision making problem solving group activities peer interaction and peer assessment needs to be given emphasis and we when we say values it means the constitutional values the human values and the empathy community prospective attitude can be assessed and measured and when we say attitude we can say the life skills or the personal skills are something which are 
equally important. So, when we talk about a holistic, multidisciplinary curriculum, which is skill-based, which is value-based, the assessment should also become more holistic, more continuous, more comprehensive, to assess the strength of the student, not the weakness of the student. The student will be given a wide choice of courses from which they will choose the courses as per their own likes and dislikes. And as teachers will assess their performance in those courses where the teach students have the interest. So assessment of knowledge, assessment of skill, assessment of attitude and assessment of values are the four components of multidisciplinary, holistic, skill-based, value-based education that the national education policy talks about. At the same time, national education policy also talks about experimenting with online assessment. We all know that during the pandemic, when the universities and colleges were closed, and we are all confined to our own houses, whether the students or the teachers or the administrators. We are given a free hand to conduct online examination, offline examination, blended mode of examination with multiple type of questions, open book examination. And many universities have experimented with many types of online examinations. But at the same time, we have all realized and which has been very clearly reflected in the national education policy that there are certain barriers, hurdles as far as use of technology in assessment and examination is concerned. Students may not be having access to appropriate devices to appear the examination. The pattern of questions that are to be asked, whether subjective, objective, or MCQ, multiple choice type questions, that needs to be looked into. The access to data, network, access to power, electricity, and the ethical aspects of online examination. These are all challenges before us. And that is the reason why the national education policy has put a word of caution that it has to be done step by step on a pilot basis with the use of technology. Very interestingly, the national education policy says that technology is a journey. It's not a destination because of the fast changing nature of technology around the world. So what we have to do is, we have to be cautious in using technology in assessment and evaluation. The other day I was reading a newspaper and I found that one of the best institution in the country is offering a course, BSc in data science, which is an online program available across the country for any student from any discipline, which is as per the National Education Policy 2020. But they say that assessment will be in person. Assessment will be pen, to pen and paper examination in 116 odd examination centers across the country. And we have also seen that some of the universities adopt online examination with multiple choice type questions. So all the universities, higher educational institutions across the country are experimenting with online examination. And we have a national testing agency, which is under the Ministry of Education, Government of India. And they are conducting online tests 
for the entrance examination for entry into undergraduate and postgraduate programs. But when it comes to the university examination, I think a collaborative effort across the nation is required, proper guidelines for conduct of examination are required, whether it will be pen and paper examination for an online program, whether it will be a center proctored examination, whether it will be a remote proctored examination, whether the question pattern will be multiple choice, whether the question pattern will be a combination of multiple subjective and objective or it will be a descriptive type of question paper. What is the access point for the student to the devices, technology, the network speed, the availability of electricity and power during the examination and most importantly, the ethical aspects of examination, whether it is conducted in free and fair manner without any malpractice. These are the issues that needs to be addressed and therefore the national education policy also talks about a national educational technology forum. And this national educational technology forum will have its mandate to look into the technology infrastructure, the curriculum, the pedagogy, the assessment, the research by prominent institutions in the country to take education into the digital platform across the country where everybody will have access to quality education. So to conclude, I would say that the National Education Policy 2020 is innovative in its prescription of holistic, multidisciplinary, skill-based education. It is innovative in its recommendation for pedagogy, face-to-face, open and distance learning, online learning, its emphasis on human values, on Indian knowledge system, on regional and local language, both in teaching and learning, and its emphasis on continuous and comprehensive or formative assessment rather than high-stake end-term or end-year examination are path-breaking and as teachers, faculties in colleges and universities, it's our duty and responsibility to look into every aspect of an innovative learning environment which the national education policy has highlighted for the next 20 years. Thank you very much.